Hey, welcome to Vault Hunters 1.18 SMP. As you can see, we have a new skin from our previous runs, and it's a pretty little demon, a little bit pretty bit by pretty demon lady. Yes, sir. As you can see, we even have the okay, hello. We even have the wings. It's pretty little wings, and the tail. Heck yeah, much excite. Anyway. We are going to be role-playing as a succubus this season. There's going to be some mischief. There's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be demon-like things. Heck yeah. Gonna love that. But yeah, uh, as you can see, we've gone ahead and gotten started. Uh, we have ran our first few vaults at level 2. We have taken a vein miner and heal. Because heal is OP. Like, actually OP. And we get this lovely, lovely heart particle effect. Gotta love that. So we got a little cave base set up here. This is this is like highly temporary. We're just, you know, staying away from the prying eyes of those pesky humans, you know. We got our little farming operation here because, you know, who doesn't want a green demon with green thumbs? And then we have our men's here, you know, our our victims, so to say. They all fell prey for our our good looks. So we have Larry, Billy, Barry, Jimmy, Timmy, Benny, Sonny, Bonnie, and Harry. Wait, do they have two Harrys? Hold up. No, we don't have two Harrys. Okay, good, good. Jesus, I thought I was, I thought I was making it dumb. Whoo wee. Okay, so here's what I've kind of been thinking, chat. I want to run some vaults. I mean, obviously, this is Vault Hunters. So we're gonna make a crystal, but you see this nasty little thing here? Cactus? What the heck? Thankfully, we have two cactuses. I, I could have sworn I had three cacti here last time. Excuse me? Did somebody? Hmm. I, I smell shenanigans afoot. So, illogical stole one. Oh, gee. Oh, Jesus, the weirdest demon that we're being stolen from? Oh my god, what is this? Uh, Jaken is now groaning cactus. Okay, uh, well, I don't know where their base is, so we're gonna just go grab, like, a quick little bit of sand, set up a teeny tiny cactus farm, grow some extra of that, and then we're gonna figure out how to get a bell. And then we're gonna do a vault. I believe we're gonna need a shovel for this. Um, the sad thing now is that we're gonna have to put an armor and hide our, 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 our awesome skin here, but... What are you gonna do? Don't wanna die. I have found kind of a client side mode to disable the skin, but I've not actually figured out how it works yet, so yeah. Maybe next stream we can have... Uh, we can have our our skin visible. Yeah. Okay. So, damn, my memory's bad. What were we actually looking for? We were looking for sand. Okay. Jesus. Like, actually, actually, two second memory. Actually, like, actually, a goldfish. I'm sure if we go this way. Oh, we'll actually find water. I was about to say, but I'll I'll take the I'll take the beach. I'll take the beach biome. Uh, heck yeah! I've been practicing MLG chat. Did you see that? Did you see that MLG? I've been practicing. Didn't even have it ready on the hot bar. Just click the two button and bam, got him. Oh, well, hello there, chicken. Excuse me. Wow, dude, hello. Do you come here often? Can I have you? Like, can I? No, aw. Totally wanna capture that. Wait, what is this? A seashell? She sells seashells by the sea. That's how that goes, right? All right, let's grab that. Yoink. Uh, no, Emily, stay focused. Stay focused. Focus. A 
Let's get some sand. Let's just destroy this biome. Excellent stuff. Some casual environmental destruction. Nobody will know, know a thing. Focus on working on how to get a pet bee. Dude, I, I totally want... I, am I putting this back? Oh, Jesus. Okay, dude. Let's let's just imagine that we're like a, a demon from the PETA thing, you know? <laughs> That's enough sand. That's enough sand. Working on how to get a pet, pet bee. Hmm... I wonder if if there's a if we can like capture it in a bottle or something. Slime in a bottle. Ah, maybe jar. Oh oh, milk jar. No, cow in a jar. Uh, provides milk for recipes. What? Shift to place. I don't think you can use that to capture a bee, but it would be amazing. Oh well. We can try to lure it to flowers, but we don't have a place to... Like, store him. You know? He's a free spirit, he's gonna fly away. Unless... Hold up. Ho hold up. Ho hold. Hold. Hold the phone. We have a silk touch pick. If we can find his beehive, we can nab him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, this bee is gonna be the guardian of our of our um, uh, secret demon lair. Also, I've been looking through some of the blocks chat. They are amazing. Like, oh my god! Look, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, Look at these blocks we can make. What the heck? They're laced with redstone, but... Come on. Come on, don't tell me that's redstone, right? There's like... So many new blocks. We're gonna be able to have so much fun building our, our base. With a very... Demonic presence. Dude, where's this guy's uh, beehive? Oh, I have one tater to my name right now. Peta is bad, I know. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna pass a judgment on that on stream. Uh, beehive? Question mark? Actually, where, where even is bee friend? Hello? Hi? Hello? Well, I can't see any beehives there. Probably up there somewhere. Look, we can find another one. We can find another one. They spawn randomly. Hey, hello? Okay, now for the big question, how, how get up? How, how get up? Oh, that, that's a tough jump. Yep, Obvi obviously by... Is that even makeable? Is that even a thing that you can make? Oh, wow, look at that. Look at us go. Easy peasy. Oh, it's getting dark. Um, that's good and bad because you know we like the darkness. But we have—I have not deliberately not slept for like ever because we need to kill some phantoms. And you know, phantoms spawn at night, as you know, good stuff. But we have no food. Like, we have zero food. We have the heal, but that only, you know, works so far. And if we run out of food and stop being able to run, then that's bad. 
So let's go grab some food. Oh yeah, heck yeah, MLG, let's go. Let's grab some food. Uh, hello, food? Oh gee. This is the saddest demon food ever. Cooked potatoes. Cooked potatoes is sad. For demon. Hello? Do you... Yeah, that's, that's gonna go through there eventually. Do we have anything we can eat? Anything at all? I'll, I'll take... Okay, okay. Villager boys. Villager bros. 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 I love your faces, but... Yeah. Yeah, let's turn that down. Way down. Okay. First of all, um, let's let's get the cacti. Let's get the cacti going. Yep, that is the saddest cactus farm I have ever seen, but I have seen it. Did I press that button again? All right, so we're gonna have to wait for that to do the thing. A bell. We could, like, legit, we could train up a, is it a blacksmith, I think? Um, Blast furnace? Hold up, chat, could anybody help me? Like, which villager sells bells? Also a quick sip. Mm -mm -mm. Heck yeah, that is some good tea. Uh, food, food, hello. Will this man sell me some food? Pumpkin pie. You know what, I'm desperate. Give me the pumpkin pies, a vegan demon. The world has never heard of such a thing. Flaxseed trade. Ooh, cookies. Well, expensive though. All right, that's uh, probably gonna be enough food for now. We have torches. Do 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 do. Right. So we're gonna wait for that. Meanwhile, I think we should go for an adventure. In our first two vaults, we got super lucky and picked up like five shulker shells, which is pag. Like, pog, pag. What, dude, I have been watching way too much Iskel. I just straight up stole his, his thing with the pag. Wow, wow. Emily, get your own thing. Anyway, it's pog, pog, pog is what I meant. So I do want to make some, some auto farms and stuff, but right now, I'm gonna wait for these to grow. Find the bell. Do we need more food? We need more food on this adventure. Let's just let's just full send it with Larry here. Get me some of your delicious pumpkin pie. Yuck. Let's see. We'll have a little bit of coal for torches. Some sticks. Four set torches. Pick a crafting table. We have our crossbow. We have our tools. Bed. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Yep. We are good to go. So one thing I want to do is I want to go pick up the rest of the vault stone we left in the mine below. Because we are going to run out of crystals rather soon. Or chipped rock. So let's do that for starters and then go look for a village. Because we're gonna need to find more mans and we're also gonna need to find that bell. But we know where the wall truck is, so let's start there. Uh, where's all my, 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 my waypoints? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, heck. 
Yeah, okay, I know, I know what happened, chat. I know what happened. So, I started playing on, um, uh, on CurseForge. Nail it. I started playing on CurseForge, and then I switched to multi-MC, and that obviously did not carry over my configs and everything, so... I lost all my waypoints. But that's fine. Didn't have that many to begin with. Home. This oh, home is obviously dark purple. Obviously dark purple. Does this need light to grow? Or are they just like super slow? I'm hoping uh, AK who's on right now is close enough to, to my base to keep that loaded. Otherwise we might just find some cactus in our, on our adventure. Okay, then we need to mark our, our cave down because we spent way too much time searching for it last time. I believe it's around the corner here somewhere. Question mark. Yeah. Also, I named our pig. Look, our fortune pig. Fortuna. I, I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself over that one. I love tuna. So this pig is for the tunas. Also, if you're not familiar with Walt Hunters, and you're wondering what the heck this ability is. Yeah, this is Vein Miner. It breaks um, a number of blocks of the same type that the one you just mined. That are immediately adjacent. So it's just a super convenient way of breaking a lot of blocks really quickly. It also breaks, you know, your pick as quickly. Speaking of which, let's add... Uh, a waypoint for our cave here. Dude, we need to get Depth Strider so bad. Hello? I'm gonna just pick up all the coal and ish we see on the way here because we're gonna need it for crystals anyway. And we can get it real quickly now. And we have our shulkers, which is freaking amazing. Also, this is so satisfying. Like, not even kidding. Feels good. That's such a time saver, you know? Oh, hello. I thought I fell down into the pit. That's one of the things that one of my, you know, I guess pet peeves in games is when something, the way they limit your progress is by, by waiting, by spending time. That's uh, just my personal opinion, I guess, that waiting is not a fun mechanic. Oh, hello. Take that. Dude, there was so much stuff we left here previously because I knew we were, we were going to be able to come back here with Vein Miner and just do this super quickly. Totally worth it. Okay, so I know there's a Geo down here that we should probably mark. Thankfully, we have lit up the area too. Hello, gold. Thank you. That's cinnabar ore. Okay, I thought that was redstone. I thought wrong.
Why do I have copper in my offhand? It's so good. Feels so good, man. Okay. So I'm pretty sure the geode is somewhere around here, probably to the right, around this corner. Torches? Torches. Yeah, there's the geode. Okay, let's go mark it real quick. Dude, inventory almost full already. Oh, good luck. Oh, seven to you. Can I vein mine? Oh my god, that is so good. That is like freaking Craigasm right there. I love the sound this makes when you walk on it. I wonder if you can cover it up and still have the sound. With like a carpet or something. Okay, this is yield. Bam. And somewhere around here was our first. Yep, exactly. Right here was our first bit of vault rock that seemingly nobody has been um, repurposing, thankfully. Yep, 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 yep. Get rid of all of that. And here comes the satisfaction chat. So I was thinking about what would we like to have as goals for, for the stream, right? Um, I do want to get to building the base, but I think I want to get a little bit more established before we start, you know, building. Maybe unlock a storage mod or something. So I'm thinking maybe getting a vault magnet would be a nice thing because that's just going to make looting things so much easier, right? Or maybe should we should we aim to unlock our first knowledge point today? What do you think, chat? First knowledge point hype? That might be optimistic, but also pog Hey, Classic Bluetooth. Welcome in. How are things? Are you on the server this season? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did we get everything? No shards missed. No loot left behind. You know our MO, chat. You know our, you know our MO. 22 chipped. That's not a whole lot. I was expecting more. Ham. You're addicted to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Heck yeah! What's your build? Oh, there's more! I was I was here just thinking like, do we really want to go hunting for more and spend a bunch of time doing that when we could be doing vaults? I mean, this answers the question for me. So satisfying. So satisfying. Bam, bam. Hold up. You're thinking about Vault Hunters? Stop thinking and start installing, bruh. Dude, how big is this vein?
very. I hear lava chat. I hear lava. I see lava on the minimap. Wow, is my inventory full? Am I going to have to be concerned about inventory space? Since you struggled with CRPGs, you went for a, a simple two-hand fighter. I think that's a good choice. I think that's a good choice. Fighters are fun. Well, that's unfortunate. Do we want to go down there to check what's what's cooking? Okay, okay, okay. Just want to be covering up enough of this lava so if some of the vault rock drops down, we don't lose all of it, you know? You're currently somewhere in chapter two and doing it a fair bit. Yeah, like my one recommendation for Kingmaker is don't be afraid to turn down the difficulty. Uh, some of the like the trip mechanic is really obnoxious on the higher difficulties. But other than that, just do enjoy the story. Yes, sir. Currently summon chapter two. Nice. Have you decided like are you gonna be playing like what's your what's your alignment? Okay, dude, there is so much of this stuff. We're gonna be set for days. I really like what um, the Vault Hunters team has done with this, these large wains compared to just hunting for Vault Rock previously because, oh, excuse me, well, I broke it now, so let's just take it. Because previously, you know, you had to go strip mining for ages and you get so much stuff in your inventory because you just ended up breaking blocks everywhere, trying to find a little hidden boy. But this is like miles better from just straight up inventory management point of view. You run into a little bit of problem. You decide to RP a character, simple chaotic, good, reliable, heavy, armor mercenary with Amiri, Lynx, etc. And you romance Valerie. I mean, to be fair, Valerie is a paladin. And although, you know, chaotic good, they're also not chaotic good, lawful good. Jesus, get it right. They also are very hierarchical and, you know, they'll follow follow orders. Which is good because I obviously um, played my playthrough as uh, Chaotic Evil, as one does. But I didn't have any actual problems with Valerie, thankfully. Because she was like my main line, main line tank the entire thing. And I think I did end up romancing her. Not sure. Greed almost got you. Didn't greed enough. Hey, I think. Oh, diamond. Hello. Excuse me. That That's not how you put down uh, your water bucket. There we go. Hog, nice. Good. Early vault diamond is hype. 